2015, the Buffalo Philharmonic mounted a double celebration. It was the 75th birthday of Kleinhans Music Hall and the 150th birthday of Jean Sibelius. Now, it might not seem like those have anything in common, but they actually do. Our hall, Kleinhans, was built by two great Finnish architects, Eliel and Eero Saarinen. And Jean Sibelius was the musical hero of his country of Finland. So it only seemed appropriate in celebrating Klein Hans's birthday to fill it up with the Finnish music that inspired the Saarinen's to create this great hall. We start our concert with maybe the best known piece of Finland, Jean Sibelius Finlandia. He wrote this for a play in 1899, a play about the independence of Finland. And it became so beloved that it really was a second national anthem. And it would inspire great celebrations and great uprising of feelings of independence when it was heard, as Finland was struggling against Russian domination right then. The piece is amazing and has remained a favorite of audiences all over the world. Sibelius was deeply inspired by his country's literary heritage, which included epic poems of great heroism and beautiful mythology. The Swan of Tuonela was inspired by one of these wonderful moments in mythology. Tuonela is the island of death surrounded by a river, and on this river floats a beautiful black swan singing. The hero of the legends, Lemminkainen, was charged with the task of killing the swan. But when he arrives and hears the swan singing, he cannot do it. He lets the swan live. You'll understand when you hear our English hornist, Anna Maddox, playing this beautiful melody. She is the swan and has the starring role in this piece. A moment you won't forget hearing one of our star players play music from the Kalevala, the great literary tradition of Finland. The next piece is very different but very popular despite its melancholy topic. An older woman dreams that she is dancing with her deceased husband again as they would when they were young. And at the end of Bald's Triest, she realizes that he has come to escort her into the afterlife. A very beautiful waltz. The concert ends with a piece that is not by Sibelius, not finished at all. It is a piece by Edvard Grieg. But it seemed fitting because just as Sibelius was the musical hero of Finland, Edvard Grieg was the musical hero of his country, Norway which had just come, become independent after years of domination by Denmark. Grieg wrote a piano concerto very early in his life, in a very happy period of his life. It's one of the most perfect pieces ever written and truly cherished by audiences. We have a great Finnish pianist who played it for us, Juho Pojonen. This is Edvard Grieg's piano concerto. 